Ah, oh, welcome back. So you all are here, my friends, for another video on XLOOKUP. <laughs> so let's begin. By the way, this hat is gifted by my friend from Excellent Fire. How's the silly? Hopes you like it. And make sure for us this video is super duper cool. Ah, smart boy. Yes, Zenzo, definitely I'll make sure that this will be the best video. But most important thing that we get to learn something new with this function. That is very important for us. Aha, smart boy. You are my boy. I love that. Today I met one of my friends and he was saying that nothing can replace index match or VLOOKUP. Yes, it was true till 28th of August 2019. After that, the world has changed with XLOOKUP now. This is a question what he asked me about this data. Where he has the items, he has some bidders and they have the lowest value and he would just like to extract the lowest bidder name. This is also possible with index match, but we are going to do it with xlookup and the new dynamic arrays function. So let us begin and get those lowest bidder names. So to get the lowest bidder name, first we need to get the lowest bidder value. That is very important. So we will call the function small and that small function we are going to check in this array. And we are going to make this as an absolute column and comma we can simply write one two and three but we are not going to do that we are going to use the new sequence function sequence yes that will generate the numbers from one to three do we need to spill the information by rows no comma do we need to spill the information by columns yes we need to spill it by three columns comma the starting number is one and the step is one Close parentheses and again close, enter, boom. We got the lowest values over here now. Now all these three lowest value is our lookup value. So we are going to wrap this entire function into xlookup, yes. So this is our lookup value, comma, the lookup array is this array. The values from the bidders. Again, we are going to make it this column as an absolute we're going to lock that column, comma. The return array will be our bidder names. And we are going to make this row as an absolute. We don't want it to move down when we are copying the formula. Close parentheses and hit enter. Are you sure my boy this will work out? Yes my friend, it will definitely work out. Boom. We got our bidder name. You surprised me. You are really cool guy. I like you my friend. So bidder A is 244, bidder B 302 and bidder E is 352. Let us drag this formula all the way down. Wonderful. So we got our lowest bidder name for every item. So after getting this details you can do in-depth analysis where you can get the lowest bidders, those who are there for every item and you can award it accordingly. So that's all for today my friend. And a soft copy of this file will be available on my Facebook group page. You can download from there and have a look to it. So what do you have to say now Senzo about this? Me? Oh, I, I don't have to say anything my friend. Uh, I know you have did a great job. This is really interesting. And uh, mm, uh, I have no words but i would like to say one thing my friends that if you have liked this video please share it like it subscribe it and don't forget to hit that bell icon for the latest updates so we will be coming soon in the next video so stay connected and take care happy learning bye